everybody, Kim Doyle, WordPress Chick here. So I found this plugin this morning and it's super, super easy <laughs> to set up. And um, I've been spending a lot of time doing a little bit of research with Google Plus. Um, you'll see this is actually the WP Chick page, which you can like, uh, like, I forget exact, follow, follow. Well, it's not like Twitter either. Anyways, <laughs> here's the Google Plus. I've been playing with this. So I've got um, a personal where you can actually follow me or put me in a circle, whatever. Um, but so as I've been doing this, I have been searching, just digging, right? So I found this plugin this morning and it's free. So this will drop in a widget for you. Now it does require that you set up a Google Plus page, um, not your profile, but a business page. Okay. So and you'll see, these are mine. I've put these guys into uh, WordPress peeps and following, I believe. Yep. Okay. Anyway, so let me just show you what it looks like on my page and how easy this is to do. And again, it's free and I'll have the download in the post. Um, so I've dropped this. So here, if you plus one this, you will publicly like my WordPress chick Google page. Um, and just bear with me with the Google Plus um, as I'm getting familiar with it and trying to figure it all out and all that stuff. But you probably saw last week that Studio, Studio Press, excuse me, I'm used to talking about Studio Press, um, that Google um, changed things for search um, in a big way. So that actually personal stuff shows up, but I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, so once you install the plugin, it is called SocialBox. So you can download it. Like I said, it's free. Um, it's right here. Oh, and I actually have this set of plug um, CSS button generators I bought from these guys. So I'll do a video on that too. But once you install it, you don't need to do anything. All you're going to do is come over to your widgets. I have put it in my primary sidebar. Um, it's just social box. So you're going to open this up. And it's the Google Plus page ID. Like I said, it's not your user. So you can see um, there's more going on here. And people have to like your page and, and well, like it, follow it, circle it, <laughs> whatever, um, in order to um, have anything show up. And I just set this up last night. So that's why there's nothing here. But anyway, so here's the page. Here's your URL. So, and I'll tell you what, because I tested it by putting my personal one in and it didn't show up. So you drop that in here. You're going to drop in your Facebook page link and then just the Twitter username. So you save it. And then we'll just peek at it again. It looks just like this. Only, um, it's my info. <laughs> kind of basic. But anyways, I love it because I think it's clean. Um, I really like... I'll probably move it up. Maybe I'll put it above Studio Press. Let's just see what, what happens there. Um, like I said, I'm really testing a lot of stuff out on my site right now. So let's move this here. I keep forgetting I didn't actually open um, two windows. Sorry about that. Okay, but we're still under four minutes, so that's okay. So there you go. So anyways, again, I would love it if you would plus one it, um, follow the page, or if you're there, follow me, follow the page. Of course, follow me on Twitter and like on Facebook, all that good stuff. Anyways, um, that's it. It's free to download. It's super easy to set up and uh, it's fun. If you have any stories or what's going on on Google Plus for you, I'd love to hear it, um, hear how it's working for you. Um, so that's it. Have an awesome day.